today we're going to talk about building an H brace for your high tensile fence. Uh, H braces or bracing in general is is dire to having a successful fence to keep your animals in and your predators out. So we'll start up our auger and get our hole dug. This is for the end post, so the very end, not the brace post, this is the end post. Because where you put your brace is dictated by where your other end is, where your other brace is at the end. You want to keep it left. So one drawback about using a one-man auger is for our corner post, sometimes we need to be a little bit deeper than what the actual machine can handle. Um, so what we'll have to do is actually dig out a little bit more with post hole diggers. In this case, we're going to want our post to be set at about four feet deep because our post is eight foot tall. I'm surprised I didn't hit water. So the next thing you want to do is use your shovel to backfill the hole and begin packing around the base of the post. As you're backfilling, it's important that you keep your post level as possible. Uh, you, want a, you don't want a real crooked post, it's kind of unsightly, and it also may make it a little bit weaker as we put more tension on it. Can't rust perfection, that's for sure. So using your spinning jenny, um, You'll run your guide wire from your end post all the way to your brace post on the opposing end. Uh, again, this is going to be used as a guide for you to set your brace post. When you run your guide wire, you want to tie off to your, your opposing end, and then you want to cut your wire here off your spinning jenny, and then just pull it tight. Um, even though it won't be completely tensioned, It'll be enough to give you a guide of where your brace post needs to go. So once you have your guide wire slightly tensioned, uh, you want to clip off your uh, the wire off the spool here and, and leave enough so you can give it a nice little wrap. So once you got your guide wire wrapped, this is going to serve as your guide for your, your brace post. So this will be the horizontal post component of the H brace. This is what you're going to use to find your space in between your end post and your brace post. So the best thing to do is just lay it down here and then pick the tip of it here with your shovel. And you can use, again, you use the guide wire as a reference to where the brace post is going to be set. Just push the guide wire out of the way a bit to set up your auger. And occasionally, you want to check and make sure you know, your hole is still on center with your horizontal post here. good. So once you get your brace post in, you want to check and make sure you have the proper distance between the two. Uh, again, use your this horizontal post here to, to check. Close enough. So then again, we'll backfill uh, as we did with the, uh, the end post. So once you have your brace post uh, set, now it's time to drill your holes uh, for your pins to mount your horizontal post here, your horizontal brace. Once you mark your spot about two thirds up the post, uh, you want to go ahead and drill. Um, so for your end post here, you want to drill only part way into the post, uh, roughly halfway. Um, and then once we do that, we'll actually mount this pin into the post. You want to try to keep your drill bit level and you also want to try to use the guide wire. Just make sure to check, make sure you check your level. So once you have your, your pilot hole uh, drilled out, 
then you'll come to your then you'll come to the horizontal brace post here and then you're going to want to drill uh, into that post as well uh, about half of the again half of the pin that you're using so to hold up and stay level and stay level as you drill your pilot hole and clear it out a little bit it'll help get your po uh, your pin in so now you want to hammer your pin you know, part way into your horizontal brace here that's about halfway so before you mount it you want to also get the hole drilled for your uh, your brace or your dead man post we'll use a drill to drill a hole through there again you want to mark your spot where you're going to drill about two-thirds way up the post and you'll make sure you're level when you drill um, but for this, we're actually going to go all the way through, and I'll explain why we do that in a minute. So before you, you pound your pins in, you want to drill a small hole into the, um, what I would call the brace end of the horizontal brace, or the dead man post end of the horizontal brace. And that's just to help us get that pin in when we start hammering. So once you have your uh, your brace post and your end post set, now it's time to uh, mount your horizontal brace post here. So we're gonna, the, the end with the pin driven, we're gonna drive it towards our end post with the hammer. Just keep it lined up. It's good to have somebody to help you keep it lined up. So now you want to pound in your, your uh, pin here that's on the dead man post or on the brace post. And that's going to complete hanging your horizontal post here. And again, you want to leave just a little bit out. Uh, you don't want to drive the pin all the way in. Uh, that, this is going to serve as kind of a rest for our, uh, our brace wire when we tension it up. So once you got your uh, your brace here assembled, um, go ahead and just temporarily remove your guide wire because uh, what we're going to do is actually string up what we call the brace wire uh, to tension these two posts together. Because what's happening is when you're pulling, this one's pulling down to this, so it's grabbing it and pulling it to this. If you did it the other way, you'd be pulling this post in the direction that your fence is pulled. All right, so before you run your, your uh, brace wire uh, around the bottom, you're gonna need something to keep it in place. So what I recommend is using at least a uh, inch and a half uh, fence staple. And we'll staple these to the bottom, kind of at an angle. And don't get them too tight. You don't want them too tight because then it'd be harder to uh, bring your wire through. But this is just to keep that bottom wire in place. So then using your spinning jenny, we'll run it through your eight. So we'll come down. And then this is what that bolt was here for. Okay? So we're resting on top of that. slack to pull through. So again we're going to go back through the staples. Just like that. You want to make sure you keep your wire up at the top. Sometimes it's easy to put just a couple staples up there to kind of keep it in place.
make sure everything's nice and snug and together. Put the wire strainer on. So you want to twist that, at least get a good six, seven twist on it, just so it don't slip off when you're putting all that tension. There'll be a lot of tension on this strainer. It may even be good to take your fencing tool and try to twist it a couple times with that. Nice finishing touch there. Good enough. So when you know that the tension from your brace wire is working, as you'll see how your your brace post is getting pulled toward your end post. And you see the gap here from where we buried the post earlier that it's actually getting pulled in. And something else you'll notice is you cannot budge. Note you can't spin or rotate this horizontal brace here. So uh, you know you're getting fairly tight and after you run your wire, um, you'll probably also have to kind of readjust because it'll once you start putting pressure, your tension going this way, you may have to tighten up a little bit more. So once you get your uh, ratchet strainer uh, tightened and get your brace wire tensioned up, um, you're ready to, to put on your, um, your high tensile wire for your fencing uh, and your insulators. So again, bracing is probably the most important aspect of putting up a high tensile fence. Uh, without the brace, your, your fence will eventually fail. Um, even if you pound power poles in four feet in the ground, eventually those poles will be pulled out or start to pull in from all the tension of the wire. So the best way to, to brace your corners is by using an H brace, which is heavy duty, uh, long lasting, and relatively easy to construct.